Developing in Atlanta, city officials are once again working to enact a citywide curfew for unsupervised teens after that first proposal failed to gain enough support. So when it was first pitched, the curfew was set at 7 p.m. for teens 17 and under. It also required locations with a history of violent incidents or homicides to implement cameras into the Atlanta Police Department's video integration system. The effort did not gain support, many saying they felt teens were being unfairly penalized for actions of just a few. Conversations about the curfew follow the violence that took the lives of 12 year old Zion Charles and 15 year old Cameron Jackson last month. This all happened during a shooting near Atlantic Station and the 17th Street Bridge to try to gather more support. Council member Keisha Waite says they are now adjusting that curfew proposal. It has an exception for individuals who are going to work. It has an exception for school and athletic activities. It has an exception for individuals who are uh, emancipated young people or who are unsheltered teens. That new proposal is for unsupervised teens. Again, that's under 16. It includes an 8 p.m. curfew on weekdays and 9 p.m. on the weekends. As you just heard, exceptions include teens who are going to work, those involved in some athletic activities and unsheltered teens. Now, this proposal is not a done deal. It still has to pass three votes before it can be implemented. In another effort to curb violence, Atlanta Public Schools is taking action today with its Stand With Me rally. The district says this is a call to action to city leaders and the Atlanta community to end gun violence. It is set to happen at the intersection of Trinity Avenue and Central Avenue tonight at 630.